Okay, so we went to the Twitter thread and we saw the solution. And who was this one? Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing my name right, but Mehmet Ali Al Agur. Okay, um, we'll we'll link that tweet in. And um, this is the solution you liked. So what what did you like about it? Uh, this one is very geometric. It's sort of it's a lot easier to see than some of the other solutions on the thread. Um, but all it involves is sort of repositioning the areas. You okay. don't even need to find the ratio of shaded to total. It's pretty clear from the picture that okay. two-thirds is the answer. So I think what they did is divided, again divided up into these small triangles here. The, all right. These top here consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, one, two, three, four, seven on the top. Okay. Um, and then down below here, uh, let's see, we can have this triangle here correspond to this previously empty triangle down here. Okay. And then these two three quarters rectangles, which used to have three A areas, can fit into this, which has two, and this, which has one. All right. And you do that on the other side, and once you do that, you're left with this rectangle, which is entirely shaded, and this part up here is not shaded. And since the two are, uh, dots are equally spaced, we can see that two thirds of the area is shaded, or six out of the nine total squares. Cool. Yeah, that, this is a really nice solution. Yeah. All right. So, why did it? What? What? Why did it catch your attention? Um, just the simplicity of it. Um, you know, all you really need to do is know how to divide up these top shapes and part of this one. Um, from here, from at least for this one, it's pretty obvious yep. that these are the same. And then you just only need to do a little bit of inferring or calculating to know that these fit here, this fits down here, and then you have two thirds. Okay, cool. All right. Good job, Ben.